Monday morning, uh, we will come together and we will train each other on how to repair skills. Uh, so, uh, what the things that we repair are electrical repair, mechanical repair, and also uh, fabric repair. Okay. So today, uh, we have a special guest. Um, her name is Doc, uh, her name is Effa. She's also known as Doctor Kipas. Okay. And she will be sharing with us uh, her experiences in repairing fans uh, and, and how she come about uh, in, in this journey. Okay, um, can I get a show of hands? Um, um, who is who is the first time being here in Community Lab? Wow. Okay. Is it hard to get here? No. Okay. <laughs> um, and then uh, okay. Uh, so, how many of you are interested to be a volunteer in Repair Community Lab? Okay. Good. Good, okay. So uh, usually I will do a whole round of introduction, uh, name and everything, but I guess there's a lot of people, so it's very hard to uh, cut across everyone. <laughs> okay, so we'll just get straight to it, okay? Um, so Repair Kopi Diam. Okay, so uh, before we begin, uh, my name is Atika. Uh, I am project lead for, uh, I'm repair project lead from Sustainable Living Lab. So I run uh, the Repair Kopi Diam programs every Sunday morning. Uh, so every Sunday morning we will do the training and every last Sunday of the month uh, we will go to the residence site at Tempanis and Jurong and we will guide the residents on how to repair things. Okay? So um, what is Repair Kopitiam? Okay, so this is some of us from Tempanis. Uh, so Repair Kopitiam is a community initiative to combat the buy and show away culture uh, by, uh, by cultivating the repair habit for a sustainable future. So uh, um, instead of like Instead of throwing away our appliances, we encourage people to repair them, uh, to um, to actually diagnose it, open it apart, and learn more about the inside and how we can um, reuse it again. Okay, so Repair Kopitiam is powered by Sustainable Living Lab. It's a social enterprise that focuses on social and innovation uh, that harness the maker maker movement, uh, and is funded. Repair Kopitiam is funded by um, NEA, National Environment Agency, and Southwest CDC. Uh, with this fund, we are able to run our uh, monthly operations and also uh, buying our tools to facilitate for two locations of Repair Kopitiam. Okay? Um, yeah. So, yeah, Repair Kopitiam, uh, we are all made of volunteers. Okay? We are all volunteers. I was a volunteer myself as well. I was volunteering since um, 2014. Uh, <laughs> 2014. And initially, when I volunteered with them, I thought I want to just you know, get some hands on and how to sew stuff and um, make use of what I learn and, and share it with the rest. Yeah? So after I volunteer, I meet other people as well and um, they know how to do electrical repair, some of them know how to do mechanical repair and this is where we came, come together and we'll uh, teach each other on how to repair other skills as well. So even if you have no experience, it's okay. You know, we are all here to learn. Uh, our experienced coaches will guide you along as well. Okay? So, um, so why do we repair? Okay, uh, because you know um, uh, we all know the three R's: uh, reuse, reduce, recycle. But that's not really um, impactful, right? Like we know that like a mantra since we were primary school kids, but uh, we don't really practice that a lot. Okay, so one thing that is actionable for us to do is to repair. Okay, because that's one thing that we can do for ourselves. Uh, we can upgrade our skills as well. Uh, and yeah, that's why we repair to minimize waste. Uh, it's also a social cohesion. Uh, because um, we want to have, we want to create a community where we can share our knowledge together, where we can, um, uh, what is it called, um, help each other in repairing. So if let's say you have the idea of repairing this way, and you know, so we can, yeah, exchange ideas, okay. And we also want to revive the repair culture because nowadays, um, uh, if I'm not if I'm not wrong, when in the 70s you used to have a repair class is it, in secondary school, is that, is that true? Huh? Yes? No? Is it? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Like, some, some, some people mentioned to me like back in the days, uh, repair used to be a subject in school. Yeah. Uh, so now, you don't really have repair as a subject. So uh, it's good that right now we are reviving so that kids um, today can learn how to repair uh, and you know, help reduce waste as well. So, yeah. Okay. So you guys are the community lab. Uh, welcome to the community lab. So if this is your first time here, uh, community Lab, uh, so what? Uh, UWC, United World College, uh, um, what are, what is it all? Invite us, Sustainable Living Lab, uh, to create a space where we can uh, collaborate, where we can be a collaborative space 
and get communities together. So we want to have the United World College community and Singapore community to come together in an uh, inclusive environment, to co-create an inclusive environment. So it's a place where um, we have tools, we have materials, um, so that you can explore your ideas and experiment them. Um, so it's a place where we can also have, have discussion, uh, where we can also have a problem so uh, we can solve problems together. Okay, uh, so this place is open to anyone who volunteer with us, uh, or if you have a sustainability project that you have in mind, you want to build, you have no tools, come for me, I'll be here, and then uh, we can do something about it in our lab here. Okay, um, so far, any questions for Rebecca Media? <laughs> no? Okay, so uh, how many of you are interested in uh, Dr. Kipas today? <laughs> yeah, all of you. Okay, uh, I'm sure you guys have a lot of burning questions in mind. Um, so, how many of you bring friends today to repair? One, two, three, four, five. I got two today. That's one, you're done. Yeah? Okay, let's go. Bring friends. You, you bring friends, not fans. Ah, oh, I thought all these are your friends. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, um, so after the talk later, we will also be doing some uh, fan repair session. So I'm not sure if we have a lot of fans today to go around, uh, but if, if we do, yeah, just um, share, la, share the fan. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Should I do the video first? Or? Okay. All right. So. Um, so Eva is going to show us a video on her experience repairing. Hang on a sec. Let me just change. Okay. 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 Ada ada kita boleh ada pada baik kipas. Sebab saya ada kipas kan? Baik kipas. Tangan ni baik. Tak boleh. Tak boleh. Saya ambil ya. Baik kipas. Jadi kita Dr. Kipas Wanita Itu gelaran yang diberi kepada dia Iaitu Nur Ashifah Ajis Dia merupakan seorang juru elektrik wanita pakar dalam bidang membaiki kipas Apa kata kita saksikan bincang ini? Sama-sama silakan Berpuatakan nama lembut Sopan Santun Namun Siapa sangka Nur Ashifah Ajis Berusia 25 tahun Merupakan seorang juru elektrik wanita Yang pakar dalam bidang membaiki kipas Bermula dengan hanya suka-suka untuk membantu bapanya membutuhkan kipas selepas tamat pengajar pada Januari lalu bagaimanapun kini ia sudah menjadi pekerjaan Nur Ashifah sehingga digelar doktor kipas Sebut saja apa jenis kerusakan terutamanya kipas kaki dan dinding semuanya mampu dibaik pulih Daripada diploma sampai degree ambil elektrik jadi benda ni bagi saya tak ada masalah lah Walaupun memang susah juga saya sebab benda ni perlukan kemahiran eh. Kita dekat EU banyak belajar teori Kemahiran tu banyak juga Cuma teori tu lebih lah uh, Kita ada buat projek So she mentioned that uh, in her university She uh, uh, a lot of teori but not hands on right So that's why she do a lot of fan fan Jadi bila buat kipas ni kita improve lah kemahiran untuk yang cikta Mempunyai kerja sendiri dan orang lain Yang terbilang di sini Kemasi dalam tas Raduan dari Universiti Teknologi Mara UITM ini Tidak pernah malu Walaupun ada antara kenalannya Memandang sinis dan mengetahui Dengan pekerjaannya itu Tidak menghirangkan kata-kata negatif Dia kini amat berbangga Menjadi doktor kipas Lebih-lebih lagi mendapat pulangan lumayan Dan tidak terikat dengan orang lain Berikutan bekerja secara sendiri Nur Ashifah turut menjalankan Perniagaan jual kipas terpakai Di pasar malam Sekitar kepala batas dan kota Kuala Muda Kedah Setiap hari dia akan Membaiki kipas rosak Yang dibeli daripada orang awam Dengan harga antara RM5 hingga RM20 Dan menjualnya semula Sekitar RM38 hingga RM150 Ikut jenama dan kualiti So usually she will buy broken fan And then after that, she will repair them and then sell it back at the local pasar malam. Sebenarnya ni, uh, mungkin pepanau rendah, tapi sebenarnya ikan yang kita boleh buat tu lebih daripada kita makan gaji. 
Kalau betul kita fokus tu tu. Ah, dia gila lah. Biasa lah perempuan dia tu buat benda-benda macam ni, pergi je kat pasal malam tu kan. Uh, dia cakap tak mau jadi engineer lah. Lepas tu saya cakap lah, saya dah jadi engineer kat company saya sendiri kan. Buat kita kan. Nur Ashifah sering kali berulang So people say like why are girls selling fan at Pasar Malam you know Your degree folder but she do it anyway because she likes repairing fan uh, She likes uh, doing this She likes 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 doing this bagi Papa Nur Ashifa, Haji Smart dia nak terpangga kerana sebelumnya itu mampu meneruskan legasi yang telah disebutkan sejak lebih 30 tahun lalu walaupun perusia berkenaan lebih sinonim dengan kaum lelaki Jadi pun saya rasa sama lah kan anak boleh buat benda ni lepas tu macam mana uh, dia nak ukam, dia boleh cari, dia boleh buat duit lepas tu mana dia nak travel, mana dia boleh jadi kita pun rasa tak 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 terbeban apa-apa sebab dia boleh berdiri kan kita semua bagi ilmu kan satu dia nak cari uang apa satu sesuatu pada dia kerja kan ha, banyak lah kan sebab dia pun dah boleh buka company sendiri dan orang kata dari kecil-kecil benda-benda kan jangan kita turun yang Asyifa turut berhasa meluaskan ampayanya itu dengan membuka cawangan bengkel membaiki kipas di tempat lain pada masa akan datang Bagi peningkat permulaan, sebuah kontainer sudah pun dibeli untuk dijadikan ruang pejabat Laporan Syarbila Rastam bersama juru kamera Azli Sampi untuk Selamat Pagi Malaysia Okay, itu dia Okay, ya, yeah, so you guys understand the video? <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. So uh, basically, um, yeah. She what she do is she repair fans. Uh, she buy broken fans from people. She repair them, and then she go to the local pasar malam, uh, street markets to sell it back to uh, new owners. Uh, okay. So without further ado, um, let's just have the lady herself to share more on her experience. Where is the sign again? Okay. So, uh, let's present to you um, Effa from Dr. Kipas. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. As of uh, to the Muslims and good morning to all the audience here. I bring up uh, my parents and my mm -hmm. brother here from Malaysia. So I come from Penang. <coughs> okay. Okay. Uh, exactly. I'm not feeling well, <coughs> but then uh, we managed to recover. After see the musical light show last night at the uh, garden by the bay, I'm so excited to come here. Okay. Okay, this is about my uh, bio data. My name is No Ashifa Benti Ajis, and you all can call me Efa or Malaysian know me as Dr. Kipas. And I was born in uh, 16th of June 1991, so I'm 35 years old this year. Uh, and now I'm a managing director at FY Electrical and Electronic Engineering. I set up my own company uh, before I uh, got serious for this. Before this, I just like uh, I just repairing sort of thing. I I never think to set up a company, but then I'm serious on what I'm doing right now. So uh, I have a bachelor uh, in electrical and electronic engineering. So I have finished my study on. Early of this year, January, I just finished my study, and I will uh, go for my convocation ceremony. It will be happen on 20, 20 November, just around two weeks. My convocation. And before this, I got a three years of diploma in electrical engineering also. And yeah, uh, I think what, when, where, how, and who is the main question around on your uh, head, right? Okay, what? Okay, what is Dr. Kipas? Dr. Kipas is someone that can fix the fan. Fix the fan, repair the fan, and also I sell the fan. The second hand, the new one. Uh, okay, so from Dr. Kipas, I got, uh, I need my company itself, A4 Electrical and Electronic Engineering. And the, I'm specialized in repairing fan. Anything, <laughs> anti fan. It's not like, uh, Uh, it's not uh, maybe uh, for future I will fix uh, other things for fan. For now, it's since uh, 2016 this year, early of uh, this year. Uh, when 
when I started, yeah, early is this year, and this is uh, some uh, the article from a paper from Malaysia, Berita Harian. So they got uh, my face. Where where I I sell it? I sell it pasar malam. We call night market or pasar malam here. Pasar malam, right? Okay. Pasar malam, I go for like um, like it's not every day. Uh, it's um, I holiday holiday. I have my holiday at uh, Tuesday. At the rest, I repair and go for pasar malam lah. And there's a uh, uh, I set up uh, like uh, a tent and also got my banner. The banner was just uh, I just make it because to improve my my marketing, right? So people know me. <laughs> So uh, how uh, this uh, the picture show that it's like uh, doctor, you know we have a, a morning checkup with my patient, right? <laughs> There's a yeah, a lot of fun. I explaining my workshop uh, is uh, beside my home, and I think I will uh, remove to the uh, maybe um, we call uh, kedai lah, kedai. You know kedai uh, shop. <laughs> okay. That's uh, I do. Uh, I checking the fan. This is the stock for uh, spare part. Uh, maybe I can use this all the recycle items. And also, I got uh, to fill in a full in my cars. So my father wanted to buy me the new cars so I can uh, maybe the huge one. I can maybe I can buy it, the new car by myself. But I have to uh, get a fund from my father. Okay, uh, this one uh, is already clean uh, from the uh, recycle fan. I clean it, uh, I repair it, it can use like a new one. You know what? Uh, I sell it at Pasar Malam. People uh, ask me many times, they ask me, ask me, is it a new one or the second hand? I have to face it, I have to answer all the questions at the same time. I say that this is second hand, not the new one. I create it to be the new one. It's like, you know, iPhone, iPhone, we have the recon iPhone, uh, it's something like that. So people will be happy because this, they say like the new one. Um, and I say, uh, it, the price is half than the new. Okay, uh, can I know uh, how much the stand fan to, like this one, the new one here? 109. 109. 190. Is that the cheapest one? No, no. Very good. Oh, the new one, right? <laughs> oh, okay. You buy the new one, so I buy, uh, I sell it at Malaysia is eighty. Ah, eighty. I do <laughs> it's a day. Okay, it's a half price from uh, the new one. So people will be very happy. They find me all the way to repair to find the new one, and also they they sell to me. If you wanted this uh, damage fan, I don't want it because. Uh, because uh, I think uh, there's a lot of fans at my home, they said. So they give to me, so I just receive it. Okay, there's a, I got a Singaporean a fan from Singaporean, yeah. I, I see that uh, the brand is Tayo, Akira, Morris. Is it all the brand here, right? I don't know which one, the famous one. But at Malaysia, the famous one is KDK, Panasonic and National. Is it here? Same. Okay, it's good. Because, uh, yeah, the system, uh, the working, uh, the terminal, all, the KDK and Panasonic is the best. And there's, I got uh, to fix the export to Malaysia. I don't know how they export it, but it come to my workshop. Okay. Who? Who is, um, who is, uh, make me become a famous in in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, the okay. reporter, the reporter from RTM. Uh, you saw just the video just now. Uh, they got for for the TV around Malaysia lah. Okay, so the the reporter uh, come over find me. I don't know the reporter and from newspapers and television. They got like uh, I don't know they like like some. How come this girl alive? Can't repairing a fan? How, why? What about the boys? Uh, why? Why a girl? So uh, let me explain. Because, because of what? Since I was young, 
my environment is full of electrical things. I my father is a charge man. You know charge man is a technician, uh, like kind of technician in Malaysia. Charge man. So I used to sleep in my father's workshop since since I was there. So my environment is full of electrical. So I know uh, at at six years old, I know what is capacitor. I know what is sister. You know, so I grew up with electrical. So my father and my mother give me a full support. So I, my diploma also electrical degree also electrical. So I I think like everyone asks me why I don't want to be engineer because I I got a degree right. Engineer you have a level right. Uh, so I say to myself, is it I will be happy if I be an engineer? So I don't know. So what I'm. I'm doing right now. I'm with a friend, so people uh, find me to help. Uh, I, I will help them. I will be happy. I'll be happy for my work. So I choose to be what I want to be. Like I, I ignore all the people say like, you have a degree, though. Why, why you choose to be like selling on the phone, uh, the as uh, above beside the road at Pasar Malam, right? So maybe people perception I don't know, but I'm just focused on my work. Uh, this is uh, the front paper, the front page I got. I, I was so like kind of shocked. Oh, why they put it at the front? So I inspire people. I, I I don't know. I'm just doing. You know what? I'm just doing like you you cooking at the home, and people don't know. You you doing your own things, right? Suddenly people like so excited to meet you. Uh, a, so I I also excited. Uh, they bring uh, my my face at the front of the paper, and so that the, uh, this one is a metro, Harian Metro, at Malaysia. Doctor Kipas tak segan. It uh, is mean like Doctor Kipas does not shame of what her doing. Uh, okay, Doctor this one another newspaper. Doctor Kipas untung di pasar malam. Doctor Kipas uh, got. Um, we call got money from Pasar Malam. Got money. Uh, uh, this one, the uh, two sides of papers. But sometimes I, I, I was like, I think like I'm a celebrity, you know. I, mean, I go out to home, like people, hey, Dr. Kipas, hey, I want to take selfie. I was like, oh, okay. I'm not really ready for any selfie. I was like, okay, I'm not a celebrity, but people know me after I'm doing all this. Okay, this one is uh, something I don't know. People do this for me. It's uh, like an uh, article. Wanita ini ada degree tapi selamba je part time jual kipas. This woman have a degree, but he like uh, he just happy with uh, selling fan at the pasar malam. Uh, this one before uh, this is my second sh sharing station. Before this in Malaysia, I go my sharing station with the. A student from Faculty of Business Management. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they are student of business. They they still asking me uh, what kind of business uh, that can gain a lot a lot of money. But I think they can uh, think by themselves. After I've been, I've been like uh, this session is graduan bermentaliti kan majikan. Uh, this session is titled uh, how uh, this um, after. The study you want wanted to be a boss. Uh, okay, uh, this one is uh, at the Sky Terrace, Hong Kong. Uh, I just bring my parents at a holiday, and it's sort of like uh, marketing. So I uh, put a banner, any uh, visitors here. So at Hong Kong, people in Hong Kong also love Dr. Kipas. It's something like marketing. Uh, people know know me. Uh, this one is good at the Mount Fuji, Japan. So he wanted to bring along the banner, okay? Give me a support. For, uh, so I'm very happy because, like, you know, Dr. Kipas no uh, famous in Malaysia. So around the world, people will know Dr. Kipas, okay? I, it, it actually it will give a spirit to me uh, with, with people support. Also at Guangzhou, China, I also go to Guangzhou to uh, export my uh, spare part. They got uh, my supplier there at Guangzhou, so I just bring the banner. And that too young, young guy. Uh, and also, I got uh, Mr. Lim from China. Also, they uh, he also repair fan at China Gongzhou. Uh, very lucky to meet him. I'm just uh, like uh, 
I just linger around at the uh, city and I found him. I just, hi, oh, you prefer all. I can I can talk a Mandarin a bit because I I used to study at university. It's like ah, uh, uh, sometimes I'm dealing with ah, uh, uh, like uh, when I'm dealing with my supplier, my supplier uh, cannot speak English well, so I I like uh, Mandarin a bit. Like um, I wanted to um, to have uh, to have the most cheapest cheapest. Spare part there, so I I, I asked him. Uh, uh, forget, forget. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, like like it, 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 if it so expensive, I can say that hen penny. Ha, no no. Hen penny what? Hen penny is a uh, cheap yeah. I before I go to China, I open back, I recall back all the words I learned at the book. So now I I already forget. <laughs> Okay, uh, this one uh, is Malaysia Thailand borders. So, yeah, the team is from Malaysia. So I also a backpackers team. I also uh, we call. I also travel around the world. Uh, sometimes I get money from selling fan. I go travel. I have some saving, right? I go to I go to Korea. I go to Indonesia. I go to Thailand. I do so many things. And next year I will go to Iran. Okay, I wish. Ah, this this one, that guy from Langkawi, Malaysia. You ever been here before? No. Okay. Okay. This is ah uh, the teachers and the students from the primary school. So I get. Oh, this one. I don't know how come this model life. Uh, model for fans. Huh? Ah? She's doing like. Ah, oh, this is ah uh, Doctor Kipas. Ah, uh, models of um. Uh, Showing, I don't know, uh, maybe recital fan. I found it. Okay, and now, what I can see, uh, my business increase, and uh, I take a student internship student. So this is the um, the what we call eclan, eclan, eh? advertisement, advertisement here, and people, any student from have uh, taking electrical courses can do an internship with me, practical things. Huh? So I have, uh, this is the lecturer come to visit to see the student. So I take uh, the student, okay, uh, that's it for Q&A session, okay. How many internship students do you take? Oh, I just take uh, one only. I just started to take, and the next uh, intake will be next year. Uh, uh, so what about you train uh, you know, the bear fans? Eh? Yeah, I take, uh, oh, I have that picture. There are uh, like 10 weeks, 10 weeks with me. So uh, the internship is actually lecturer will take marks, uh, will give marks from what uh, he been doing with me. What are the challenges that uh, are the most difficult plan that you've ever had? Challenge in repairing fan. I think I got challenged every day lah. Every day, uh, every uh, when I repair because my mentor actually my father. My father been doing all the fan, all the electrical things since he's in secondary school. He also we uh he also work with Chinese. Ah uh, yeah and. I learned from my father. He lead me. What was the percentage of fan left for you? Percentage? Uh, if 10, it would be 9 out of 10. Uh, but, 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 wait, wait, but I, I don't promise that uh, it can be fixed uh, today, uh, one day. But sometimes I'm repairing like three days. I have to find a spare part. I, I we have to check first. Like you know, um, if a medical doctor, you have to analyze first what is your problem. You come to the doctor. Uh, yeah. Um, you sell the fans to people, right? Then if the fan they use halfway, they spoil. They bring it back to you, you repair for them. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I forget to mention that after I repair or I sell any fan, I will put a warranty. Warranty is about a, a month. But after that, after a month, if they uh, find me, I also repair for free. Yeah. Uh, uh, sell their love Dr. Kipas. <laughs> yeah. I go on, oh my god. I have to find Dr. Aircon. Uh, maybe expanding my business. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about that also, but and now I'm specialized on very fan first. Any question? Yeah? Uh, why do you say that uh, KDK and Panasonic are the best? Oh. Okay, KDK and Panasonic is the best. I think that's one national, right? Yeah, Panasonic. Panasonic. Oh, because uh, I will show to you if uh, I want to reopen all the the part. Because what? Because fan they have two types. Two types. We have um, KDK only. Only KDK and Panasonic using ball bearing. I will, the ball bearing inside. I can maybe we can show it later. Ball bearing. Yeah. Uh, we can show it later. Ball bearing and bush. So we have. Uh, KDK and Panasonic using ball bearing is really smooth and uh, it takes time to damage. Yeah, very good. Uh. And also, we got uh, KDK and Panasonic, they got a terminal. We can open other fan, we can compare the terminal, natural, or uh, so one, two, three terminal for for the switch, one, two, three. They've got terminal, the very best, uh, very like a systematic one. There, compared to other fan, so I have to find where is uh, natural, where is her. We, we can show, uh, show it later. So, what happens if like the photo burn out? What are some of the problems that we face when the photo jump, right? Like the fan is so already burn out, you always say it's not better because you need to replace the whole photo. Oh, yeah. Are you able to replace the whole photo? Uh -huh. uh, it's called that rewinding the coil. If, so just, I, I, I'm not doing that, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I, it's, it's very hard to rewind the coil. It was, uh, I have to find someone specialized if uh, the customer wanted to run the coil, but they have the simplest way. The simplest and maybe uh, uh, use uh, a bit of money. La. We have to change the, the new one, the motor, the new one. You know, the, the one unit of motor, the new one. But I, I don't buy the new one. The new one motor is maybe like, uh, I don't know how much is it. In Malaysia, it maybe is uh, equal to the table fan 12 inches the 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 price so i use the, the i show you that second hand all the all the recycle i use that yeah i got recycle for a lower price so people will it, the motor still still function uh, so people satisfy because it was very cheap Do you repair like standing fan like that? Yeah, I used to sell it. Uh, uh, Akira, right? Uh, Akira. Yeah. Uh, the long one? Yeah, panjang. Yeah, panjang. Uh, yeah, panjang. Yeah, panjang. Yeah, panjang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That's how you don't repair. I don't repair it. But do you always have one of these and, uh, in your... No, I, I, I don't really take this. Because... Uh, I use uh, to feel like they have a blades and all the hand carry one. So why, why didn't you repair this one? Yeah, I don't explore, I don't study it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't specialize in anything like that. <laughs> because at my business card, business card I put at, at the behind, I specialize in stand fan, table fan, wall fan, and exhaust fan. Uh, specialize uh, other fan like they also asked me to repair the shooting fan, but I just denied all the uh, requests because I have to climb all the... It's also hard for me, so I just take the hand carry fan. Okay, okay. so no question, guys? No, really? <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so much, Eva, yeah. for sharing with us. So now it's 9.40. Uh, yeah, oh, we're going to do like our own um, repair session together with the, uh, Dr. Kipas and some of our experienced coaches like King Meng, Kenneth, uh, Andy, Perry, MC. Uh, they are all 
uh, experience and they will guide us along uh, in preparing fan as well. Uh, so, so those who bring fan, can I see your hands again? Okay, so what's the problem with your fan? Uh,